Hey everyone, Monkey Wrench Mike. We're back with another IAAI walk around video. Glad you could join us today on what could be one of the hottest days of the year. Yep, I got my water, I already drank my coffee. Not a good idea to drink coffee when it's 100 and it's gonna be 110 out here today. So we are having some fun. We're checking out all kinds of very cool vehicles, including that right there. We're gonna check out this Trident Jeep Wrangler. Don't know much about them. Let's go figure out what's inside and what's it like. She is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, Unlimited Trident. You got stickers right there all over the place that show you what this car is. You have a sticker over the headlights that have been changed to look a little meaner. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, four doors, all kinds of Trident stickers on this thing. The tires are good. I think the tires are matching. You can get a cool Jeep. Who is that, Yoda? Is that Yoda in the back right there? Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is like. Okay, that goes up. Here you go. You get a little place to put stuff. They've already done all your trash for you. That's nice. You got the, oh, look at the cage. You got the roll bars. You got the speaker right there. I don't know why they didn't paint this inside black. It kind of stands out when it's white. That's what I would have done. Oh, we got green paint on the inside too. Let's go check that out. They left the door open for us. They knew we were coming. Yep, there was a song we used to play on the uh, morning show in Lexington, Kentucky. If I knew, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. We played that for the birthday song. And it was the most popular song I've ever witnessed on television. People would go crazy if we didn't play that. And once the station did, they changed it to another song and everybody just, there was just this huge revolt and everybody was mad. And so they brought it back. If I knew you were coming, I'd have make, I'd have baked a cake, baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. How'd you do, how'd you do, how'd you do? What you do, what you do, what you do. I think it went like that. Anyway, this is nice. I don't like this. It's too much. There's too much green going on up here. Yeah, even down here. Yeah, we got green everywhere. Let's see what's going on. We have a key right here. I can't start it, but there is power. There is some power, that's good. How many miles? 94,844 miles. Your little tweeters in the dash, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna put the key back right there. This is a nice place to be with the white top. I don't know why they left it white. It needs to be black to match the interior. Maybe it's too, maybe it makes the interior feel too small if it was black. But anyway, Mikey likes this one. Let's see what the back seat is like. I'm gonna close the door even though we found it open. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't. What's with that? There we go. Okay, there it is. Let's see what's going on. There is some room back here in the back seat. It's not the roomiest place to be, but let's see, it's hard to get in. Oh, you get a grab handle. <laughs> okay. Well, that's helpful. Absolutely. And then you get a speaker right in your face. I don't, there's not a whole lot of room back here. Thank goodness you can go, this goes in a little bit for your knees. But when you close the door, this is kind of cool. I, the grab handles, iffy, white top, I don't like. But these are fun vehicles. These are, I mean, they have, they serve their purpose really well. That's why everybody loves them. Is it for me? I don't think so. We had one back in the day when I lived in Fort Lauderdale. 
yeah, my wife and I sold everything. We moved, packed up and moved from Oklahoma to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and had the best time ever. That's where my daughter was born. We gave up everything, had nothing at all, had a little apartment. One little Jeep, it was red, and I taught college. It was called Bowder College, and I taught uh, micro and macroeconomics, accounting. What else did I teach? General business, and I was the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, advisor for the black students there. Yep, I forgot the name of the organization, but they used to say, uh, what did I have to say? Dap, what's up, my Nubian brother? Yeah, that's what they used to have to, that's what I used to say, and they just started laughing. I know they were making fun of me because I was a white guy. That's okay, it was a fun group. It was a good time, and it was a good Jeep. This is a nicer Jeep. This is much nicer, and it's just very difficult to get out of gracefully. Okay, but... There you go. The Jeep tried it. Oh, doggone it. Look at this. She's not going to be a survivor. Yep. These little Mercedes 300 E's are the best little cars ever. I've had a couple. I had a 260 E with the even smaller engine. These things run great. You get fantastic gas mileage. It will turn on a dime. It is so easy to park. The trunk is big. And it will hold lots of stuff. And these are just the greatest cars. Look how big that is. You got your whole front bumper <laughs> sitting in the trunk. You can't do that anymore. Yeah, that's a giant trunk. But this car, unfortunately, as you can see, has had an accident. But these are amazing cars. Remember what was it? Coach Carter? Was that the car he drove? No, you even get the wood shifter. This is bringing back memories, folks. I just saw this and had to come over and take a look. Yeah, this is a 95 300E. Wow. See? The leather still looks good. The wood still looks good. No cracks or anything. This has been... That's been redone. That is way shiny and nice. Someone really took care of this car before the accident. And they added the wood shifter. Holy guacamole. Dadgummit. This is sad to see, and they added, because Mercedes didn't give you cup holders back in the day, they added one of those years and years ago. I don't think she's gonna do anything, but let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Oh, yeah, okay, I probably had to have my foot on the brake. Anyway, the interior of these, the back seat, oh. The back seat's been recovered very cheaply. What the heck is that? Yeah. What is that? Who did that? That's... Oh, these are all over the junkyard. You don't have to go and do a $20 seat recover job. At least they matched it. That's sad. Okay. Let me show you the engine. These cars... I just... Uh, people just didn't love them. I did. I thought they were great. Oh, it's not going to open because it's taped. Okay. Well, this isn't even in my realm of considerations because of that. But 2000, oh, it's a 92 Mercedes 300. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, it's a Mercedes, so I had to come over and, and show everybody. And if you ever see these, and if you ever see a 300 CE, the two-door, the coupe, let me know because I am looking for one of those. They are amazingly cool cars, and you don't see them every day. You really, really don't. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I'm a grandpa now, but I'm starting to really like these <laughs> wagons. Check that out. This is a 2014 Audi A4 all-road Quattro. I wish, th this explains how much rain, how badly we need rain here in Oklahoma. Check that out. Yeah, there's so much dust on these cars and that's not IAAI's fault. It's just, there's no rain. There's, it's just so dry out now. And like I've been saying, it's gonna be 110 degrees out here. This car needs a bumper and a tail light, or two tail lights. Is that it? That looks like that's gonna be about it. This is a cool little car. Look at the inside. Oh, <gasps> I gotta take off my sunglasses for this. Yep, okay. Look at this interior. 
holy what was that oh it had a okay so it did have a, a hitch on it you could tow a little bit with it but look at this wow i didn't expect this at all i love that i really really love this interior look at the brown that's gorgeous that is really nice we are gonna have to put this on our list look at how cool i was bidding on a bmw 3 series wagon uh, tomorrow in Oklahoma City at the IAA location there there's an E500 Mercedes E500 estate or station wagon that I really like it has suspension problems but what E500 does not from the 06 to what is it 010 era yeah look at this oh oh, 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 oh. oh I like oh my goodness this is so nice. This is really nice. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Yeah. She is dead. No battery here. But look at how nice this is. Holy crap. This is really cool. Okay, Audi. I love what you're doing with this series, the A4. Wow. I bet this is a fun car. On the highway, you could take it skiing, put all your equipment up on top there. Oh, here's your taillights. Yeah, you got your taillights right there. Okay, and they're not even, I don't think they're damaged. So all you need is a bumper. And you even got your tow hitch, which may have been a little dented right there. Looks like they added an extra hole. I hope that's not scratching the seat. But look at this. I know, it's a drinking game. Every time I say, look at this, everybody takes a drink. That's okay. This is beautiful. This really is nice. And I can't open the trunk. Okay, anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Please, please, can I have another? Wheels are good. The front is perfect. I love the big grill. I really do. She is gorgeous. This is a diamond in the rough right there. Well, what do you think about my Audi? I got my Audi and I got my Audi. <laughs> yes, siree. All right, I wanna say thanks to everybody here at IAAI Auto Auctions in Tulsa, Oklahoma, letting me come out and show off some of these really cool cars that uh, they have available for the public to buy. You don't have to be a dealer. Some of the cars you have to be a dealer to get. I'm not a dealer. I can buy lots of cars from here. There's a lot that are available to the public, okay? This guy's been spreading dust everywhere. Yep, that's why I can barely see what's going on. Yep, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. We hit that 30,000 mark, and I gotta tell you, that little SLK 350 that I bought for $800 has been so popular. Yeah, check out those videos if you haven't seen them just yet. All right, folks? I think I see a pickup truck that I might need in my life. So we're gonna go check that out, all right? Have a good day, hug those kids if you got them, and we'll see you in the next video. As Randy says, very, very soon. Okay, bye.